Hey love bugs, welcome back to Next Door Vegan, your channel on all things vegan. Today I thought I'd do a little bit of like a different kind of video for me, but it's more of like a vlog or like go on an adventure with me. I really wanted to get my wine that I like so much on Friday, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna hold off and I'm actually gonna make this like my next video because if you didn't know, not all wine is vegan. So a lot of the time winemakers will do like this process called fining and basically it's just to make it taste better, but they will We'll add things like gelatin or casein which is like from milk egg whites even fish bladders to the wine so that they can I guess just like improve it in their eyes but that doesn't improve it in my eyes but <laughs> whatever so sometimes it is a little bit of a chore to find a vegan wine and what I always do is I just go to the store I pull up on my phone a barnivore.com and I just type in all the different wines and see which ones are vegan so I figured I'd save you some time we'd go today to total wines I will start off with white wine if you want a series on this where I go back and do like a red wine or a rosé let me know in the comments below so that I know you like this video my goal is to find at least five white vegan wines so whether that's Sauvignon Blanc Chardonnay Pinot Grigio I, I always get one that I know for sure is a Sauvignon Blanc and it's vegan so I'll, I'll be sure to include that as one of them but yeah so this is just like a different kind of style video but I did want to bring awareness to the fact that not all alcohol or wine is vegan so you just gotta watch out and hopefully this helps anyone go to the wine store and feel more confident in their purchase so without further ado let's get to total wines and let's get some wine Okay, love bugs. not gonna lie it was a little loud in the store and kind of awkward to just talk to the camera so the first wine I picked was just a random one it was called sunny with a chance of flowers and it turned out that there was actually no results in Barnivore for that specific wine so sometimes that just happens with Barnivore maybe that was too much of a boutique wine maybe I needed to find like a larger brand so then I ended up searching for another one and it turns out that Oak Grove Sauvignon Blanc was indeed vegan then I just picked another wine at random this Paul Dolan Sauvignon Blanc and it turned out this one was also vegan. So that was two in a row and I was starting to feel lucky. Then I decided to check out this Martin Ray Sauvignon Blanc to see if it was vegan and unfortunately it was not. And on the search results page, I can see that the company did email Barnivore saying that they're in fact not vegan, that they actually fine with egg whites. This one looks cool, let's try this, okay. Very rock. Yeah, we're just <laughs> trying to find, um, I'm trying to do like this vlog on like vegan wine because like not a lot of wine is vegan. So then I'm just like typing it in trying to find like which ones are. We have an organic section that has a couple vegan Oh, wines. that's neat. Okay, well actually I just found two, which was cool. So, okay. <laughs> so we're just looking. Okay, we, do, right. we don't have all of them marked, um, but we do have some of them marked with the green tags. Green tag means, that, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Thank you. And once the lady told me that they actually mark the wine vegan, I felt really silly and like this whole video was pointless, but regardless, then we just started to look for different vegan wine tags, but you can see that there weren't really a lot of them listed anyways. Oh, okay, so this is interesting. So pre 2020 is not vegan and then 2020 onwards is so this one wouldn't be since it's 2019 and then i did want to point out a couple common wines that i normally see at different stores so i always see the cupcake wine unfortunately that one is not vegan they actually use fining agents that contain gelatin derived from pork and then this dark horse brand i see often is also not vegan because they also use gelatin Another thing to note here, 
the wine that I'm looking at now is organic and most of the time when the wine is organic it turns out to be vegan as well and that theory proved correct here because this wine ended up being vegan and then we moved away from the Sauvignon Blanc section and ended up finding these two vegan white wines and then we ended up going back to get Sauvignon Blanc because that is my favorite and we got this one Amici bottle to go home with. So it turns out that Total Wines is really on top of their ish. They uh, have signs on the vegan wine. So it was pretty easy to find it. So if you want to find vegan wine, I definitely suggest Total Wine, but the Barnivore thing and finding it that way is a good idea when you're just like at the grocery store and they have no idea what vegan wine is. And not all of them were labeled, so it was still a success, but yeah. So Baby Yoda says hi. But we had fun. I'm gonna drink this wine that we got. What is it? Amici, which is actually friends in Italian, in case you didn't know. My uh, Italian lessons coming through. Um, but yeah, it looks good. I've never had this kind. They don't have my favorite one, the Justin wine that I normally get. So I don't know where that was, but I'm excited to try something new and I'll let you know how it is later. Okay, I got the wine. We gotta put some ice on it because uh, it's not cold yet, so. Here we go. Mm, that's good. I like it. Not bad. Okay, love bugs, and there you have it. That was my wine adventure. It was kind of surprising that Total Wine had different vegan signs and actually like knew about vegan wine because a lot of the time when I go to like restaurants or stores or anything like that I don't ask for vegan wine but sometimes people I'm with will like say like oh do you know what the vegan wine is and I'm always like they're not gonna know like they're not they're not gonna know what wine is vegan I would always just like type it into Barnabore and stuff so it is pretty cool to see that total wine like knows what's up if you want another video on finding vegan wine whether it be the red, the rosé, I could even do like a champagne one and find like five for each. I will go to a different place where it might be a little bit harder to find and I'll, I'll try and find different ones for you. So leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know which one you want, reds, rosé, champagne, and what store you would like to see me go to. So you can control that aspect of the next video in this series. But overall, it was pretty fun to go with my mom and she made us a good dinner to pair with the wine. So that was a nice night. Sorry, Moki is uh, <laughs> trying to get comfy. He's being very noisy. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't mess out on all the vegan fun. New videos come out every Friday, so I'll see you next time. I hope you have a vegan day. Bye. Bye.